before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment live down below. Y'all will see why later on, man. That's going to do two things for y'all. Number one, every single week, we give away $50 in VC, Cash App, or I buy you a game, an extra regular ass edition. That's number one. Number two, and this is the more important one. Uh, at the end of the month, if we can continue to average 8K views, we're going to be giving away a next-gen console, whether it be an Xbox, a PlayStation, or we're going to give away a PC uh, up to like $500, or I'm going to give away $500 in cash if we can just average 8K views. That's number two. Number three, the bots are back, man. Make sure y'all just ignore the bots, man. They, 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 they try to act like they got my phone number down there. They try to act like I'm on something other than Instagram or Twitter. I'm not on any of those apps, man. I'm just on, I'm not on Telegram. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. That's it, man. So make sure y'all ignore the bots. I'll keep banning them. Y'all keep ignoring them. And with all that out of the way, man, we just going to get straight to it, man. Check it out. The boy Dr. Disrespect, hey, he got the... The, the ha 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 ha. It's Tim the Tap Man really put it out there, man. Look at this. This is what we always try to tell y'all, man. Dudes are actually pretty, pretty big. Dr. Disrespect is 6'8. Tim the Tap Man is 6'4. I didn't even know Tim the Tap Man was 6'4. I don't, I mean, he got to be if he's up to. Nah, I don't believe Tim the Tap Man is 6'4. Bro, that's more than, like, if you're 6. I don't know. I guess I guess it is six eight versus six four. Y'all think y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Is Tim the Tap Man six four? I, I really don't know. Um I know Dr. Six Disrespect is six eight. We did a video about Dr. Disrespect we simulated his career. Y'all go check that out, man. Excellent video, super funny. We did a lot of stuff. It took a lot of work. It took me like seven hours to work on that joint, man. So if y'all can just check that video out, drop a like and hint, 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 it's probably gonna be the video that we're gonna be choosing the winner from uh this weekend. So you know y'all might wanna get over there and check that out up next we got the boy power df man he's just saying can you tell the truth and be hating let's discuss I, um i checked I, I i i checked i checked this out man and i, I always say it's a thing of convenience or whatever man pretty much it's just like this with poor boy saying the saying he did not he did not reply to it but what he's saying it's relevant and it is actually true he says i don't trust nobody who knew all along but only told me when they got mad or if it's like this right here with this like this WWE money in the bank, this idea, this is how people act with the truth right here. They want to tell the truth when it's convenient. Like you got some people that's gonna tell you the truth all the time, and I can't do nothing but to respect them. But you got a lot of you got a lot of you know just just not nice people that this is what they do right here. Wait till you're down, and then like hey, then it's like gotcha. Bitch. That's the truth. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's what I don't. I don't rock with that, man. Like, if you tell the truth and you're going to be straight up with me, be straight up with me all the time. I don't care what the others. Just be straight with me. Just be straight with me all the time. If you want to be straight with me all the time, be straight with me all the time. If you're not going to do something, don't, don't, don't sit there and hold something until it's convenient for you. Now, unless it's like this. Unless it's like I let stuff go with you all the time and then... I make a I make a small mistake or I finally do something and then you want to jump all over me about it, then I might have to tell you about yourself. But even then, I'm going to give you a few chances before I tell you about yourself. So it, it really is one of those things where, like, some people do try to weaponize the truth. Some people do try to wait until it's very convenient. But most of the time, man, it's like, and then I, I just always have hated people be like, I mean, it's the truth. You can't handle the truth. I, I mean, like, you, you say it's the truth. You can't handle the truth. Shut the f*** up. Shut the f*** up. You're not about to weaponize the truth against me. I know what my shortcomings are, but like, they're like, it ain't no need to beat somebody down all the time with something like that, man. It just be all the negativity and stuff. Like, y'all understand what I'm trying to say. If something, if something is true, it's true, and it's true all by itself. But y'all understand what people say, you saying what you really wanted to say, but you just hiding behind it being the truth. No, no, hide behind it being the truth. Say what you want to say. When you want to say it, and let's just get it out there on the table, air it out. And then we just go from there. Don't wait until you mad or something like that. Now, I mean, I'm just telling the truth. I ain't hate. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, conversely, when we talk about people and how they got to where they are, and you say, this is the path that they took. I've studied the path and this is what it is. Some people can interpret that as hate, but that's just like, that's just you telling the story. It's like he went from A to B. It's just like how, how Trump be like, you know, he got a small loan of a million dollars from it. You know what I'm saying? Like he trying to try to gloss over that part. Like, nah, 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 tell the whole story. That's something different entirely. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I just always hated people that try to hide behind something being the truth or just say it when it's convenient or whatever. You know, it is what it is. Hey, they're <laughs> seeing back on this thing right here, he said, what's the worst advice in life somebody ever gave you? And he says, money doesn't bring happiness. Boy, that is one of the worst things that somebody can tell. Now, that's something that people with money always say, though. But 
I think that all that always has more to do with if you're not happy before you get money, you're not gonna be happy when you when you get it. But if all the source of your unhappiness is the lack of money, then you got the damn right money gonna bring happiness. You understand what I'm saying? Now it is gonna be more money, more problems, because if you get a lot of money, your your folks, folks around you, everybody gonna be thinking, you know, you're gonna break me off, you're gonna break me off something. And then so that might it, that might in, mess with your mental health because you're gonna have to tell some people no. You might have to tell mama no, you might have to tell pops no, you might have to tell the people that brought you up and did everything in your life for you. No, I can't break myself trying to do something for you. And that's what that's what like uh, basketball players, football players, and professional athletes and people that get a lot of money at a young age, that's probably one of the biggest things that they suffer from with mental health wise is just getting to the point where they, I, I gotta tell y'all, no, I can't do it. I just can't do it, bro. But yeah, I mean, like people be like, money don't bring happiness, but, but we can't make it without it. Money is a double entendre. If you don't have it, you can't make it. Unless you're trying to go to jail for, uh, for uh, counterfeit or something like that. But you know, look, if you don't got it, you can't make it. That's a double entendre. If you don't have money, you can't make it in life. And if you don't got money, you can't create money out of nothing. You can't create it out of nothing. It is what it is, man. So that's one of those things. Dropping gems on these boys out the day. Speaking of dropping gems, boy, we got my boy. Hey, my boy on you know, Operation Slim and Trim like a bicycle rim, boy. That boy Worthy Goat said went from 400 pounds, nearly 400 pounds, to 228 in a year. And look at that boy, that boy slim and trim with a bicycle rim. That boy went from Rod, Rod, Rod Wave to Rod Smart on they on they ass. Boy, that's what I'm talking about, boy. Look at that thing, that boy looking slim. Hey, look, man, when you get something in your mind and you gonna work on it, and he been out there working with that boy Rico Fenice and all that good stuff, man. Hey, nothing but good things gonna come when you get your health because your health is your wealth. And now that is one thing too, that, that like I said, money don't bring you happiness. But if you unhealthy, but like I said, that if your if the source of your unhappiness is not having money, then it's gonna bring it. But if you already unhappy, and like you said, Sue, if you can't even be happy if you're unhealthy, then that's where we at with it, man. It sucks, but that's that's what it is, man. Hey, up next, we got the boy Zeus breaking down a play right here, man. Hey, look. He's showing y'all the, the uh, showing y'all how they run into the reverse, and it's uh, pretty much the reverse triangle right here, showing how dude gonna drop and all of that, and and you know how the rotations go, and then how you take advantage of the rotations and get to the get on that rim, oh rim, rim, on that rim for me, but. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all watched the video, this guy right here in the blue hair clearly did not watch the video from Big Dog Banner. I mean, I, I mean the white hair. Because right here, boom! What is he supposed to do? Y'all let me know right here. He's already in awesome defensive position. He's supposed to deny, deny, deny the middle of the floor because if he got two directions to go, then you're already dead. You know he doesn't want to go here because if he goes here, he got his man to contend with, and he got you, guy, the guy right here, dropping. Stay where you are, baby. I would even say step, take one step over to the left because he's not going to go any further here because he's not going to beat you. Know, you understand what I'm saying? He don't want to run here. He wants to go straight up the middle, and you let him You let him do exactly what he wanted to do. As soon as you stepped over, you know what he said? Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> but, yeah, it is what it is, man. Like I said, though, even in... Even in, in, in big time pro-am and uh, stuff like that, bro, it is all these things are relevant. Look, why he go back to that way? He, he shouldn't have even gone back that far that way. Should have just sealed off the left-hand side. You just gave it to him, and now, uh, yeah, you, you put yourself in a bad situation right there. So, you know, it is what it is. But speaking of that, boy, we got this boy, and then Bad of Beast breaking one down too, man, talking about he out here with the bass. I got to stop matching the wrong, but he's talking about the rotation and stuff like that. Man, he's talking about, man, y'all got to cut. Yeah, like, people be out there talking about, I'm out here, I can play. I can do this thing. I know how to rotate. And these people be selling. And look at this right here. More or less what he's, what he's doing is he's showing y'all how. Hold up. Is it coming across? Okay, I do got to mute it. He's showing. Look at it. Look at it. He's like, everybody hit their rotation. Why is the center not hitting his rotation? And uh, we, we can't answer this question. But he said he's going to start calling them people a lot right now. I mean, I ain't going to lie, man. I don't know if y'all noticed. I don't know if y'all noticed something in these last two videos, but you know y'all can if y'all watched the video last night and all that y'all 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 probably know what I'm about to say. Anyway, hit him with the hell no to the no 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 hell to the no no to the no no hell 
until the now. Hey, look, man, you gotta get them rotations right, man. We gotta concentrate more on defense. Like I said, if more people would've watched that banner video, we wouldn't even have this problem, but ain't nobody watching because it was a defensive video. Hey, up next, so check it out. I watched the video from this dude, man. I don't know if y'all know him, man. His name Brutal Sim or whatever. I saw the video and they were talking about how 2K ain't dead. And um, I'm gonna leave the link to the video down in the description. But more or less what he was saying is a lot of people are trying to say that the game is dead when the game is unequivocally, unequivocally, unequivocally not dead. And the way that he's showing that is they got the numbers in. He got the numbers on the video. Link gonna be down in the description. Y'all go check that out, man. But let me let me spoil it for y'all a little bit these are some of the highest sales that 2k has ever had these are some of the highest concurrent uh players per day that they've ever had and they have set another record yet again with the vc sales so y'all saying the game is dead and that the vc is too high it's really falling on deaf ears because y'all 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 speaking in a different way with different actions and stuff like that man you got to speak with your voice and you got to just get off the game if y'all think if y'all want to try to impact change but you can't do it because the game is too good and like i said if you're not gonna do it shut the fuck up shut the fuck up i'm not gonna say nothing because i see what's going on i can see clearly now the shit is gone yeah, I can see clearly. I understand what they doing, man. I know what's going on. The people want this stuff. They want the, I, so I, so who am I to try to to try to stand up for the 1% when 99% won't, you know what I'm saying? They want they want what they want, man. Just like the boy Red City boy said, honestly, the content creators are killing the game with feeding the community with the negative thoughts. And they say and uh do says, "So you finally noticed, huh?" And the one one dude says, "Been like that for years, gangy, and that's a fact, man. That's uh, that's a fact. That's what it is. The game ain't dead, but people, when they can't play it, when they can't do certain stuff, that's what they want to do. Look at my boy, Easy Does, man. He said they say NBA 2K22 was uh, the game is dead. Went from one to nine K subs over the summer. They're saying that NBA 2K23 is dead. I know it's alive and well. Don't get distracted. Stay the course. No one can stop what's meant to be 12K dubs in the building and like you said bro he ain't been doing nothing but growing i can tell y'all the same exact thing i've been doing nothing but growing and everything been looking good man i mean uh look and, and speaking of growing man this is why we putting live down there this is where we came from bro like y'all don't understand that that i get that that we that we like to complain this was nba live 96 bro this is what we had back then this is also why every old head on the fucking planet plays on broadcast because this is all we had we had to play on broadcast and then some people do slander or whatever but this is all we had so check it out play of the game that's a highlight whatever like that uh like i said this is what this is what we had this is what we came from so at some point we do just gotta be happy but you never want to stop wanting better but at some point we do gotta we do gotta just be like dang bro we came from a long way and last but not least we got this thingy thingy man check this thing guys she talking about this is the pc master race hopefully i don't get no copyright for the music but but uh she's doing the real what is what they call the real consoles of whatever let's just get right into it pc's invited me to meet with her and xbox series x and i know they're like this but she knows i don't with her and honestly i don't see why i need to be here mm. Xbox Series <laughs> X, PlayStation 5. Mm. I see you got in your router outfit like you always do. You come yeah, in router here looking like somebody's mini fridge that's been sitting Ooh, in the, the of a mini fridge for four semesters. And you want to come for me? Girl, have a seat. That's Ooh. right. I look like a mini have fridge. Have several and seats. I'm keeping the girls fed. Fed. Hey. We've been recycling the same games for the last two gens with what new I'm PC Master Race. That's what I am. Them churns starving. <laughs> it's called backwards compatibility. I doubt you would understand. Oh, we 117.2 million consoles in. I'm pretty Dang. sure we understand just fine. But that's why you bought Activision, right? Don't worry, boo boo. You'll figure it out. Yes, you wow. right. You'll figure it out. And you better believe. First chance I get, we're pulling titles. Let's see how them sales fold up then. Mm. Oh, she'll never see another Call of Duty game. Dang, that's what, hey, hey, look, and that's exactly how y'all be acting right now, man, when you, now look, bro, I ain't got no dog in the fight, I got everything, when I'm telling you I ain't got no dog in the fight, and I got all the consoles, I got, I got all these joints, man, I got me a PlayStation here, I got an Xbox, I got a $2,500 computer right here that I don't even play on, I just edit and watch TV and stuff on it, and I do play Apex and stuff on it, with a controller, nobody don't want to hear what you trying to say, bro, the hell with you, bro, I ain't trying to hear that shit. 
but I do be playing on the controller on PC just to play on there. Uh, this, I'm like that, that that meme that they put out. I got a a, a $2,500 PC just to just to watch my 0.27 KD in 120 frames per second. Last but not least, that boy one shot Blizzy man. Hey man, look man, the dude. Hold on, I gotta I gotta get the screen. Hold on, can we get the screen capture that? Bow, bro, one shot Blizzy man. He said, look. This is one of the, we gonna do this. This is the rage inducing moment of the day. Check it out. Y'all see what the score is, 19 to 20. Blizzy coming up the court, walking it up, doing his thing, go behind his back, get open, draws the double team, kicks it to the corner, trades it, no! Then he shot it anyway! Bro, what are you doing? Bro, first of all, like this, this, this is what it always is right here with Rattles. Wide open in the corner. Why are you moving, number one? They, like, 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 what were you doing? You're wide open. All you gotta do is press the button and shoot it. But he, he gotta try to dribble. Now he's gonna compound the issue by trying to shoot it and then just straight smokes the shot. I ain't gonna lie. That is our rage inducing joint of the day, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Like I said, bro, the game is not dead. It just is what it is. I'm tired of people saying it, and it's just something that's falling on deaf ears. I'm having fun with this game. They're saying Call of Duty dead. I'm having the most fun with COD than I've had in years. People want me to stream that more and all that stuff, man. We are going to try to keep doing this, but we need y'all's help. Make sure y'all comment live down below uh, at the end of your comment. Like the video. Go back and check out that Dr. Disrespect video, man. We got to get that joint pushed up into the algorithm. Like, it, it's insane that I can't even pay y'all to, to like the video, bro. It's, it's crazy. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Channel. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.